Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the customer tips in Odoo 17 POS module. So customer tip refers to the optional money that leaves by the customer for the services that they have received. It's a way of showing the appreciation to the cashier or the waiter or whoever provide the, provided the service. To manage with the uh, tip, you can just go to the configuration settings of point of sale and we just need to enable the tip so that we can just manage with the optional money by the customer. Now let's see how can we manage this in Odoo 17 POS module. With the customer tips, let's go to the uh, sessions configuration settings. So if you want to just go to the configuration settings of a particular session, you can just click on the three icon where you can just click on edit and here you can find uh, the configuration settings. So here we can just provide uh, the tips for the restaurant. So we know the uh, tips are the amount that is given by the customer for the services that is received for them. So here as you just drag down here you would be able to find a session called tips that accept customer tip or convert they change to a tip. So in order to manage with a tip we have to set a particular tip product so as you just get into the internal link over here, you can see the product type will be consumable and all other details such as the product category, like all saleable POIs and you can also give the internal reference as tips. And nothing much more to uh, think about the tips and all now, over here in the product. Now, let's back to the settings and here you can see that we can also manage the tips uh, while the uh, payment, like add tip after the payment also. So as you have enabled this, now let's go to the dashboard in order to manage the payment uh, of tip over here. So let's create a, a new order. You can just get into the shop over here by setting the, uh, yeah, opening cash and all. Later on, I'm just going to create an order for this table and where you can just use the item. So here we want uh, the uh, burger combo and... Uh, I'm going to choose the cheeseburger with a uh, minute made and let's order that. And later on, we can also just add different things such as lunch maki, then milkshake, uh, pasta, then pasta again, um, for maggi and uh, mozzarella sandwich. And later on, you can just order for this and click on payment. Uh, where you can see we can also uh, give the amount uh, to the um, shopper so here the shopper is going to uh, give the amount as hundred dollar and here you can see that the shopper has to give a change of um, 52 to the buyer and that will be shown over here so from this amount from this change amount also we can just get the tip so you can just click on tips and you can see this amount will be added as the tip. So if we want to change this uh, or make any other changes, we can change that. And let's give uh, the tip as 10 amount and we can just confirm that. So that you can see uh, the amount will be shown over here and the total amount is also changed. And uh, now the change uh, that the um, customer need to get is only just 42.3 um, after the sub subtraction of the tip. And we can just click on close tab and you can see the tip will be added over here and uh, uh, the price is shown over here including the tip and the balance also um, is shown over here. Now if we want to add the tip separately we can also add that. Now let me consider the other order uh, which um, is for green tea then uh, lunch timaka maki and here you can also now let's make order where we want a uh, bacon burger then a uh, chicken curry sandwich panda espresso then later on we want clip sandwich and what else we want is mm, spicy tuna sandwich and a bottle of water and vegetarian so later on you can just place the order and make the payment and here we can see that we can just add the tip so here you can see that auto will uh, set a predefined tips like adding uh, 10 plus or 20 plus and all so uh, here you can just click on 10 plus to add the tip and we can just confirm that so here you can see that now if the amount has just changed and uh, we can just choose a payment method over here 
and later on we can just close the tab uh, where you can see that the uh, tip will be added in the invoice over here see the tip was added over here and uh, finally the total uh, uh, as well as the um, amount that is added with the tip uh, is also is shown in the invoice the customer can just go with tipping or not tipping so i hope this video clarifies how to manage the customer tip in odoo 17 pos module if you want all customization or odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact cyprosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video